Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972 with my first radio review of 2019, the E&E10 AM FM shortwave radio. I bought this radio back in the mid 2000s around 2005-2006 at a place called Circuit City. It was a rather prominent music, appliance, electronics store similar to Best Buy and PC Richards. It closed a number of years back. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it there, but I believe it was between $100 and $130. I know because I remember seeing the list price being about $129.99. So, I'll say between $100 and $130. The reason why I wanted to review this radio today is because it looks very similar to a radio that is still around that you can get off Amazon or eBay. The Texan PL660. Right here. I mean, the buttons look similar. The speaker looks similar. The display looks similar. Even the buttons are slightly different. But a lot of this radio looks similar. Um... This is probably more like an upgraded version of it because there's also air band and single side band on this radio. Uh, the E10 does not have single side band. It's just FM, AM, and regular shortwave. No single side band, so you can't hear ham activity on this radio. But it's still very good. Um, I have used it. I haven't used it in a while. But when I use it, I have a lot of fun with it. So, what I'm going to do is show you what came with the radio. I still have them, actually. Uh, it came with this antenna. It also came with this adapter in which I can charge the rechargeable batteries on this radio. Or... I can just use the AC power to operate this radio. Of course, you can still operate this with AA batteries. It also came with this operation manual. Screen's a little small, so I'll hold the book like this just so there's room on it. But that was the operation manual. And then it came with this neat little booklet as well. And, um, if you flip through it, it has some information on um, the broadcast bands here as an example. Some radios here, like the FR300. Portable radios. Um, and look, the E10 right here. And here are his description here. And uh, they actually sold a smaller version of this radio called the E100. Right here. So. It featured a lot of radios in this booklet. Very neat book. I'm glad I kept it. And um, I'm going to show you what's on the radio. You have your power button, sleep button here. Your lock button here. Your timer A and B buttons here. Your numeric keypad here. You also have your memory button here, which when the radio is off, you can set the time pressing this button. The zero button also operates as your charger on-off switch when the radio is off. And the enter button also operates as your system set button. You can press system set and key in some sort of a setup according to what it says on the menu. Let's say enter 28 and then um, it'll set a certain, certain function. On this side, you have your up, hour, down, minute button. While the radio is off, you can set the hour and minute while setting the time. And while the uh, radio's on, you go up and down the dial, slow or fast, depending on the setting here. Your shortwave button, which also is your meter button here, you can... Press them to set to go through all the meters. 
and then your FMA um, ATS button here. If you press and hold this button, you can use the auto tune search and it'll store up to 50 stations in a page. Basically, when I've used it, I'm only able to set one page worth of presets for some reason. Then there's your light snooze button here. Your tuning fast flow and lock button here. Which works either with the tuning wheel here or the keys here. Your page button here to scroll through various pages you've saved. Uh, scan mode. You press here, it'll scan either page mode or regular tuning mode. Your AM shortwave inner frequency mix, I think, or inter frequency set. I think that's what it stands for. But it's your IF set. When you're in now band, you can either press this once and you have IF now, or you press it again and you just have your now bandwidth, which is what this button works as. On AM and shortwave, this is your bandwidth button, either wide or now band, or your FM, FM stereo. So you can set mono or stereo for FM. On this side is your tuning wheel. Your antenna trim here, I found that it's best to go all the way to your right for FM and somewhere around the middle for your shortwave. And then your volume up and down knob here. On this side of the radio, you have your antenna here, which is uh, 33 inches. Fanny case here. What used to have the kickstand, uh, I broke the kickstand, that's why it's no longer there. Quality control sticker. Then your battery door, where you can put your four AA batteries. I have rechargeables in here. And then there's a system code. You can press system set, 28 for rechargeable, 29 for alkaline. And over here is how you can set the batteries when you put them here. Which is basically negative to the left, positive to the right. And it has even a separate stand here, this little neat little thing, where you can stand the radio without the kickstand. Although if I stood it this way, you're not gonna be able to see the whole radio. So for this demonstration, I'll keep it in. And on this side of the radio, is your FM shortwave antenna jack, your antenna gain DX normal or local, and tone control treble or bass, your headphone jack here, and your DC six volt in jack. It's about 11.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm about to uh, do the ATX function for FM. However, uh, I didn't tell you that the speaker is about two and a half inches. So it's a pretty big speaker for this kind of radio. But right now, I'm going to put the antenna up. I'll tune the FM. And what I'm going to do is press and hold the ATS button. And it's going to store memories uh, for the FM and whatever is left over from the 50, it'll also auto tune store AM stations as well. But it's a total of 50 presets only. And um, I've already gone through 46 presets. And it's going to be about done. And Harry Branson. Legend. Oh, you're done? Uh, so this is 
is why you wouldn't tell me anything, Smokey. Yeah. CHML Hamilton, Ontario, 337 miles. So I'm going to start with an FM scan, or I should say ATS scan, because you're going to get some AM too. A little adjacent bleed over. That's an unlicensed station. It's a wrap for me. My name is Mike Allen. Back with you again tomorrow after 7 on 95.5 PLJ. Hope you have a great rest of your night. I leave you with OAR. This is Miss You All the Time. Peace. You know that I las nueve sinfonías, los conciertos Brandenburgo. running back i mean you can line him up and you can line him up as wide receiver he's an all-purpose guy that's another unlicensed station the stones throw away from grand central Seemed like it was etched in stone. That's unlicensed. Another unlicensed station, but a lot of bleed through, adjacent bleed through. That's a little bit of a problem with this radio. So I got about 44 stations on FM, so I'm going to get a few AMs as well in the ATS. This is going to take two months. Okay. Depending on how much this garage sale brings in and how much. Oh, Zoomer Radio. CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 330 miles. First of all, would hurt them with their own left, and then it would, in some fashion, weaken the and team workouts to get you to your healthier place. Anytime fit. And that's it for the ATS and uh, FM. I'm going to change this to narrow. Well, you can learn a lot about.
Vice President Nixon, Senator Kennedy, and what they stand But right now what I'm going to do, change the um, scan mode to regular. Now what you can do, um, this button over here, you can tune in slow to fine tune. And it almost moves like an analog radio. Now, if you use the buttons, it'll tune in 10K steps. Now, if I go fast and use these buttons, it'll tune in real fast. 100 kilohertz. And if I tune in like this, with the knob, it'll be every 10 kilohertz. And on FM, if I use fast, it'll tune in 0.1 megahertz. But if I use fast tune, if I, if I use fast tune using these buttons, it'll go down 1 megahertz. And if I move slow, it'll go 0.1 megahertz. And if I use slow here, it'll fine tune on FM every 0.01 megahertz. So, um,. I'm going to key in a few stations on FM. I'll try 97.5. W248CG. Jersey City. That's a translator 10 miles away. And if I turn the antenna this way, that's WALK Patchog, New York. That's about 60 miles. I'm going to try another frequency, 10, enter 1047. WSPK, K104, Poughkeepsie, New York, 60 miles. I'll try one more, 101.5. WKXW, Trenton, New Jersey, New Jersey 11.5. So it does pretty well on FM. So what I'm going to do next is um, put the antenna down and uh, key in a few AM stations. I'm not going to do a full band scan due to time constraints. I'm going to try a few AMs to key in. First, I'm going to key in, go to press AM. And go 1100. Or energy. That's 1 800 803 8511. Oil investments involved. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio. 1100, home of the Cavaliers. News Radio, WTAM 1100, Cleveland. Yep, WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 394 miles. We're heading in. WBT Charlotte, North Carolina, 560, 533 miles. KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 865 miles. But there's a little bleed over from 1130. I'll key in 1500. Is coming into question in Milwaukee, where a car wanted in connection with armed robberies went out of control into the Connecticut River. WFED, Washington, D.C., 204 miles. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee, 755 miles. Finally being able to reach. Did not score in a loss against the Spurs on Monday, 35 tonight. 
Celtics at home beat the Timberwolves 115. WWKB Buffalo, New York, York 280 miles. Indian Mavericks on the road beat the Hornets by 38 in Charlotte. Wizards a 114-98 win. WCKY Cincinnati, Ohio, 561 miles. KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 944 miles. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 330 miles. Couple of stations mixing in. WPTX Lexington Park, Maryland, 218 miles, and CHTL Toronto, Ontario, 330 miles. That is KKBG Des Moines, Iowa, 1,012 miles, uh, 1,000 watts. As a matter of fact, I was able to get one or two stations on this frequency the other night. I tried this the other night. And uh, I'm able to get some distant stations from the expanded band a lot. So I'm going to go to shortwave quickly and just basically um, hook um, the external antenna and key in a few frequencies. I will do full band scans of AM and short wave in fall videos. The universe? How do you like that, huh? Liberty University President. WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee. He told the Washington Post. Folks, listen to this now. Compromise Donald Trump uh, and, uh, and myself. So that's another that's transmitter of WWCR, Nashville. Uh, that's what will come out of this. Barely coming in, but that's WWV, Fort Collins, Colorado, the time signal station. I mean, the shortwave's not bad. It can do pretty good with this uh, external antenna. On Tuesday evening in Santiago, oh, Glenhauser Hauser World of Radio. The Communist Party of Cuba delivered the main address. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to try 7505. That's WRNO New Orleans, Louisiana. You can adjust the bandwidth as well. Wide bandwidth, now bandwidth, and now IF. Final thoughts on this radio. Um, I like this radio a lot. The tuning's a little funky at times. Um, you kind of be careful tuning, but... I like the way it tunes. I like that there's a knob there that I can tune in. It has almost an analog feel to it. The AM is great. Even better than the Texan PL606 that I have. FM's pretty good too. And shortwave is fine too. Uh, especially if you hook a wire to it. It does pretty well. I guess, one, I guess the major drawback is the batteries. Because... I can't use this radio for long periods of time at a time or else the batteries will run out a bit quickly. Not too quickly, but the battery life uh, 
can be rather iffy. Uh, the Texan PL606 does a lot better with battery life than this. But still, very fun radio to use, and I enjoy it. So I hope you like this review. I hope you have a happy 2019. Have a good week, everyone. And God bless. Bye-bye.